Here Cardinal Hegel Ritzbeck from the Holy Catholic Church International. We are beginning today a very important part of our lectures about the Eucharist. And I would say that when we are coming to this uh, part of the Eucharist, then we can go to the Gospel according St. Luke, chapter uh, 22 and verses 19 and 20. And he took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it, and gave it to them, saying, This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And likewise, this cup, after they have eaten, saying, This cup has, that is poured out for you is the new covenant in my blood. When we are coming to the story of two disciples going to Emmaus, who are sad because Jesus was crucified, and all the hopes are gone, then suddenly Jesus is joining them, but they don't recognize that he is Jesus. And so they are going together, and in the evening they have supper together. And then when they have supper together, they recognize that this man who joined them in the journey was Jesus. And when we go to 1 Corinthians, we see how St. Paul is explaining what is Eucharist. Eucharist is one of the main terms what is expressing the most important event of the Christian life, of the church, of the uh, one Christian and Christian group. In Estonian language, we say concerning the Eucharist, a specific translation is word by word translation, the table of grace. Isn't wonderful. From Greek, this word comes into English, and this means Eucharistia, giving thanks, giving great thanks. So, thanksgiving is the basic essence of the Eucharist. Eucharist is never sad, Eucharist is never such kind of place when we are coming and we are very sad. Yes, Jesus suffered for us. Yes, he suffered for us. But he is risen. He's coming again. He's coming to meet with us in this bread and wine. And this is so important. But sadly we have to say that Eucharist is also a place where Christianity is divided. There are different groups who are following different theological things and the different theological understandings and they are not coming together. And today we cannot be together, all Christians, as it were an early church. You are visiting another city, another place, another uh, country and you were able to have the Eucharist together with the Christians who were living there. It is very sad. We don't want to uh, say that we are the best and we want to put down anybody. But we still, at the same time, cannot take away this. What is the Biblical? What is the New Testament? What is the early church? What is apostolic and the apostolic tradition teaching? What is the teaching of early church fathers about the Eucharist? And this is the basic thing. Can you imagine the most important thing in the Christian life is eating? Very much realistic. So many people in today's Christianity, they want to have everything spiritual. This is like Platonistic and new Platonistic things. They want to be spiritual. And materialistic things, they are very bad. 
But this is not scriptural. This is not New Testament teaching. It's absolutely not true. Sometimes in some churches, I don't want to be judgmental, but they speak of blood of Jesus, cleansing blood of Jesus, uh, making miracles blood of Jesus. But actually, where is this blood of Jesus? In the air somewhere? It's in the cup. You have to drink it. You have to sip it to take into yourself. This is the meal is the essence of the Christian life. When we are seeing the basement of the Colosseum in Rome and there are certain pictures and on the walls, then they are pictures of Eucharist. The early Christians were waiting to be thrown to the lions, to be thrown um, to gladiators, and they were having together the Eucharist. Surely they were praying, surely they were singing, but they were having the Eucharist together because this was the most important thing for them to do. They had the Eucharist together and this really gave them strength, gave them new opportunity to be so thankful to the Lord that even through these sufferings they became martyrs and they were together with the Lord. Isn't it wonderful to know this? The center of the Christian life is Eucharist. Amen.